for now. Fell really has to win here. He is our green circle player in this upper right hand corner. We all know who he is at this point. The colours are not changing. And so you guys will know that the guy with two points on the scoreboard at the moment is Armani. The red zerg player in the upper left hand corner. So there we go. Our player is introduced. Let me catch up with the chat. What is going on? Yes, it is the semi-finals. I don't know how long that, how long that was. The song was Little Numbers by Boy. Sorry for your zerg. I didn't see your question earlier. But uh, there we go. So, not too much going on in chat. And uh, not too much going on in this game just yet either. It looks as though we're not going to see any kind of crazy cat solar tactics of spore crawler rushing here. No, -uh. so I've got a bit of a slow start. Let's go through a little bit of uh, let's go through a little bit of uh, facts and things. So, you guys may not know this, but we've actually never had a mirror matchup in the finals of an SC2 improve overall of a uh, big of in a big SC2 improve event such as the Winter League or the Summer League. We've had a ZVP, we've had a TVZ, and we've had a oh, what else have we had? A ZVP, two ZVPs in fact, we've had two ZVPs and a TVZ. Of course, if you never didn't know, a long time ago in the SE2 Improved Summer League 2012, we had Mix vs. Jaru playing in the finals. In the sum, in the Winter League last year, we had Dominus vs. Chib XYZ. In the Summer League this year, we saw No Name take down John Eureka for free. So, uh, really, really awesome. And also in the finals, we've never had a clean sweep. We've uh, had... Uh, two, uh, Adonimus vs Chibi was 4-3 uh, as well as No Name vs Johnny Rico and uh, Shari vs Mix I believe was a 4-1 or a 4-2 it was quite some time ago now but uh, yeah I mean there's some little stats and statistics to fill some void time while uh, Tefal goes pool first Armani goes hatch first and just take a moment to uh, relax <coughs> and uh, take in what's going on Again, guys, how is everyone on the stream doing? Let's hear how you guys are doing. I'd like to hear your guys' opinions. Keep on sharing. Why do I have a pink headset? Because I've got a pink headset. I don't have much of a better answer than that, in all honesty. So, um, there we have it. Again, not too much going on in this game. We've uh, had our crazy game on Frost. We've had our weird game on Heavy Rain. We've had a fairly aggressive game on Polar w uh, Night as well. I wonder if... Now on Habitation Station, we may see a game go a little bit longer between these two players. Uh, maybe one of them takes the gold base, though it is a risk, of course, taking that gold base. You have to be very careful not to draw yourself too thin. We saw that at uh, IEM between Life and Rogue, when Rogue took that gold base. Life, you know, he took his third base much later, but when he did, he started moving out with his units, and Rogue, he just didn't have time for that gold base to really kick in for him, so... You know, let's uh, see if either player decides to go for a strategy based around that. Right now, it looks as though not too much gas being mined for Teffel. Just a single worker in there, now putting workers back in. Whereas Armani has kept three workers on gas, so he's going to have a much faster bane in nest here. The speeds are relatively even, 39 seconds to, f uh, well, 40 seconds to 40 seconds, basically. So, you know, really, it comes down to this extra gas that's being mined. You can see Teffel, his bane in nest is just about 30 seconds later now. If he's on the defensive... This shouldn't matter too much, and I don't think Armani's going to get aggressive either. He's continuing to drone up here, as you can see in that upper left-hand corner. His uh, drones just keep on building, and uh, he's just really getting his own uh, bane and for safety here, more than anything. And Tafaji puts down a spine crawler, showing that he wants to be the defender in this game, and that really allows uh, Armani to realise, right, well, you know, you are going to be the defender, so that's, that's cool. Now I know what's up, and these uh, couple of lings just moving around and checking the back of this mineral line. See if anything crazy is going on like that road troll in game number one, but it isn't. And in the meantime, we have a lair on the way for Armani here. So um, that's what's going on right now. And again, really not too much else happening. Just a uh, slow opening from both of these players at this point. Mad Jam Jar SCT Improved is open to all players. We're actually going to uh, also introduce some uh, low league only tournaments in the very near future as well. That's something on the agenda to do a few more of those. We've done some in the past, but uh, we haven't done any for a while. But most all of our tournaments are open to all leagues. Generally, it's very heavily Masters players based. And obviously, at this point in the tournament, we're playing with the best of the best. We're playing with the pros, Armani and Tefel. But all of our tournaments are open qualifiers. All of our tournaments are... Um, 
open to everyone and anyone so do come join us and sc2improve.net is the place to check out for that or in game sc 2 improve the in-game group on EU Battle.net is a great place to be because if you join us there you'll get news about when we've got events and whatever else so Spyro on the way down here for Armani he's uh, he did go for that fast learn that fast gas and fell he's getting an Evo chamber so it doesn't look like he's gonna do the same third base is coming up at very similar time is here here yeah. okay he's at whoa 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 An infestation pit. That's not normal at all. So, Tefel has something sneaky up his sleeve here. Maybe he goes straight to Infestors. He starts up at Rotron, so maybe he's just going to go straight to Roach Infestor. Uh, some Lings coming in towards his third base, but he's got plenty of Lings and Banes to defend himself. There's a Rotron for Tefel, confirming that he's going to. We're going to see Roaches here at least. Um, Armani, these Lings trying to get away. Tefel going to try and cut them off with his Lings on the north side. Even if he can pick off a couple of these, it'd be nice, but kind of uh, comes in at the wrong angle in the end. And there's the Pathogen Glance, so the mystery is revealed. The mystery is revealed at Pathogen Glance. The Infestors are going to be the choice option here. And that means, you know, this really could catch Armani off guard. No, it couldn't actually. He's got an Overseer. So he's actually scouted this. He knows exactly what he's up against. And this is, ooh, Tefel going in on this uh, third base, so hold that forward a moment. It looks like he won't get it here, but uh, trades pretty nicely against the Zirgans, especially to the top side. And he has a few Zirgans left over, can't do too much more, though. At the same time, Banan's rolling into this natural. A few workers killed, but not too much, and uh, Tefel still with a worker lead. Now, what I was saying before is this scout for uh, Armani, which spotted this infestation pit, is probably why he opted to very quickly switch into Roach Speed, switch into a Roach Horan, and not overcommit to these Mutalisks, so... He knows that he can't overcommit, and he isn't. He's doing the right thing to fell his investors on the way. And if he can catch these mirrors, this is going to be awesome. Spore crawlers are going down, and there's actually not much anti-air around here at the moment. His investors are about to pop out. Are they going to be able to land the fungal growth they need on these mirrors? Because they're just killing the everything in the natural right now. As a couple of lings are in the main base too. Investors are now out, but the uh, these mirrors they're just splitting up here to fell is losing a lot, a fungal growth does go down, so these mirrors are actually going to start dying, but they're killing off infestors too. And ooh, a nice fungal lands on them, uh, clump of mutas there. But uh, Tefel is really just taking so much damage. He's uh, lost a lot of his infestors while trading, he's going to lose even more of his infestors, not having any answer to these uh, mutalisks early enough. has really hurt me, he's got a lot of money in the bank, so the supply deficit isn't as huge as it seems. But uh, it's not good for him. He has no army right now. And look at this. Behind us, Armani has just massed up roaches. And oh my god. I think we might be about to see Armani just knock to fell out. <coughs> knock him down to that third place match. Oh my god. I, I don't know what to say. I didn't think to fell would fall like this. But it looks as though Armani is going to be able to do it. Because he's just got so many roaches and to fell. He doesn't have anything at all.